National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nupeng, is yet to back down on the two-week ultimatum it issued to government to address bad roads and extortion of tanker drivers by security operatives. Members of the union who stage protests in Lagos and Port Harcourt over anti-labor practices said they will not surrender until their grievances are addressed. TV City News Senior Correspondent Sharon Ejason reports. Members of the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nopeng, simultaneously picketed Office of Variant Energy Services in Lagos and Port Harcourt over alleged anti-labor practices. They defied every downpour to carry out this task. Members of Nupeng insist that the two separate peaceful protests at Victoria Island, Lagos, and the Trans Amadi layout Port Harcourt were expedient due to anti-labor practices by the company. Despite the rain, the inscriptions written on their placards still pass their message to the management of the company. We are here because of what Mr. Adorno. The chairman of New Peng Legal Zone, Tayo Aboyeji, says action of the company is against global best practices, decency, and integrity in the oil and gas industry. Our demand is that you just come out and pay our workers, our members, a statement. If you refuse to pay, we continue to come here, we continue to embarrass him. You continue to call his names because somebody that run away with uh, worker uh, uh, statements, original thief. How can you retrench workers and you refuse to give them their entitlements? And of course, even the, the, the sack is without due process because ordinarily, Nupeng is supposed to be aware if you're going to lay off our members. They were not aware of this. Efforts to reach the management of variant energy to get their side of the story failed as the human resources manager requested a message but did not respond to the one sent. The affected workers want the management to honor the path of peaceful negotiation. They frowned at the use of COVID-19 pandemic and slide in the price of crude oil as part of the excuses to perpetrate anti-labor practices. <laughs> With the increase in the number of persons who are out of job due to the coronavirus pandemic, the oil and gas workers here are insisting that they would not tolerate any form of indecent employment moving forward. They want the relevant government agencies to intercede and ensure that workers who are disengaged get their benefits. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News, Lagos.